Really, LeBron? Really? You're, you, 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 are you serious? Are, are you serious right now? Really? Did you just compare white NFL owners saying that they have slave mentality? So, I mean, slave owner mentality. Saying, he said, it's like a, there's a whole bunch of white NFL owners who have this slave mentality saying, safe slave owner mentality saying, if you don't do whatever do whatever the fuck I say, you're, you're out. Motherfucker, that's not slave, slave owner mentality. First off, motherfucker, when it came to slaves, if they said something like that shit, say, say something like that, they were going to get whooped. But motherfuckers like that, with with NFL players or any NFL or any other player, especially in the NBA, especially, if they say that to their boss, they're gonna get fired or traded or something. All right, that's not slave mentality. That's boss mentality. If I was a boss, if you didn't tell, if you didn't do whatever the fuck I told you, like if I'm, like, I pay billions of dollars on the team. I pay. Millions for each and every one of these players. If you don't do what the fuck I say, you might like you're gone. But on the other hand, if I do release you and you're under contract, I gotta give you millions of dollars. So that'll be an L for the fucking boss. But at the same time, man, I'm sick of tired of motherfuckers comparing slavery back then to right now. It's like, motherfucker, just stop. And if I hear the last motherfucker to be talking about shit, you. You know damn well the moment you retire from the NBA, you probably gonna buy an NFL, NBA team, and try to do the same shit that you talking about. I mean, hey, you already had to, you already you did that in Cleveland. It's like motherfucker, LeBron. When it comes to basketball, I freaking love you. You're a monster. But when it comes to shit like this, you're an idiot. All right, it's like bro, just fucking stop. All right. It's like mother the the slaves back back I come back from the grave and smack you silly for that shit. Cause they were not getting paid millions and millions of dollars just millions of dollars to doing that shit. Uh uh-uh, uh that's called the you know what the difference between slavery is this is they were forced to work for free. Nowadays you get paid. Nowadays my brother who do shit like shit you just said, you get paid for it. Not millions of dollars, but still, you get paid for it. That's not slavery. That's called a job. All right? It's like, oh, my God, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. Like, these little fuckers try to act like, and this dumbass Matt Barnes, I've heard this post, I, and where I heard this post was back on Bleacher Report on Instagram. This motherfucker, this dumb motherfucker, Matt Barnes said, the most woke man in the, in the history of man. Well, Motherfucker, just shut the fuck up. And this motherfucker wanna talk about I'm running for I'm running for office so I can beat Trump. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You know damn well ain't gonna do shit. But still, man, LeBron really you're gonna compare slave you're gonna compare you say that white white NFL owners have slave have slave owner mentality. Motherfucker, you realize there are white white NFL players, right? And no not just them, and no not just in the at the quarterback position. Yeah, there's oh, yeah, there are white NFL players, there are some Mexican NFL players, <laughs> motherfucker. There's some mixed NFL players, aka Patrick Mahomes. He don't honestly. I'm not gonna be like he's the only mixed player in the NBA in the NFL I can think of. Just saying, but still, man, LeBron, just shut up. When it comes to politics, you know and I mean, but still, man, man, it's just like every time when you talk about shit like this, he just sounds dumb. And of course, there's gonna be some motherfuckers who say, "Oh no, you don't know what he's talking about." He's trying to say that um, that these NFL players act like actually think that they're slave slave own slave owners and say think they can do tell these tell these players whatever the fuck they want because they fucking can. At the end of the day, who's paying their paycheck? The owners. But by the way, y'all remember this, people? It's football, okay? Cause like last time I checked, like, matter of fact, we shouldn't be saying that the NFL owners are doing this shit. We gotta remember who do the NFL owners hire to do the shit that they don't want them to do. General managers. What do the general managers do? They hire coaches, and they and those two mainly do the shit that they are supposed to do. They do the shit that the NFL owners, the state NFL owners are supposed to do. But 
They do all that shit. So it's not mainly just the NFL owner. So it's like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. This crazy is crazy. This, man. <sighs> Look, I don't know why a lot of people are supporting me on this topic, but I don't know why. But I will get, I will get to that that um that black wrestler who had to get his dress cut cut off to be able to wrestle. I'll talk about this shit later on. But yeah, man, later on. See you later. Your boy NC out.